Good we'll deal, y'all. Listen, we're gonna do a review. It's, it's gonna be short review for Mandy. Um, y'all know as I do my recaps or whatever, I basically tell y'all what happens. You know, down there verbatim, scene by scene. But Mandy is one of the few movies that I just can't do that. I can't. Because I can tell you word by word what happens. And it it, it it don't serve this movie in the form of justice. It doesn't. You have to watch this movie for yourself. You have to experience it for yourself. Because that's the type of movie it is. If you're an 80s baby. And you know you grew up on fantasy movies uh 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 if you used to uh be all about um fangor magazines and and, and heavy metal the movie and you know heavy metal they got the heavy metal comic books and all that stuff and magazines and everything hey if you're all about heavy metal the music genre, and you remember all the wild ass motherfucking heavy movie, heavy metal uh album covers, and then it was like the whole dark fantasy shit with the dragons and the lone warrior upon a quest, and and the, and the stranger that shows up to exact revenge on those who destroyed his life. Uh if you're all about wizards and, and, and demons and etherealism, uh uh hell cosmic cosmic horror if you wanna if you wanna add that to it. Mandy is Mandy is I'm trying to figure out what could I call it. It is a love song to dark fantasy retro 80s horror with co- with cosmic is this uh cosmic horror cosmic horror cosmic dread bows and sparkles and shit I guess <laughs> I guess we could go there with it. It okay. I'm gonna tell you the plot. I'm gonna tell you what it's basically about. About this dude and his woman, his wife. We don't know if it's his wife or not. Um, I'm just gonna call his wife, his soulmate, the love of his life. They live in the they best life ever, the simple life out in the woods, and this strange motherfucking fuck shit fuck nut cult leader gets his eyes on the woman and basically they go forth and kidnap the woman and kidnap the dude and basically when she turned down his advances which <laughs> she she did right uh homeboy the cult leader got in his feelings and killed him and killed her from a homeboy from the Lone Warrior. And and that right there starts an avalanche of he of uh, the uh, leading man going through this journey of basically revenge. And mind you, we don't know nothing about his past. We don't know nothing of it. But we do get clips of it due to his actions in this movie. And and we we do learn we don't even learn that much about you know uh 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 how those two met. It's just basically we see a scene of how the leading man met the leading lady. Leading man, his name on here is Red, and the leading lady, her name on here is Mandy, which basically the movie is named after of Man Mandy. And um the movie written and directed by uh what homeboy name? Cause he does he did, he has done another movie which I love. Uh, let's see, do, 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 do. 
Panos Cosmatos. Cosmatos. Panos Cos Panos Cosmatos. I do not want to fuck up his name. So if I fucked it up, please forgive me. Uh yeah, he did another movie called Ble- uh Beyond the Black Rainbow, which is good. So So y'all, if this is your spiel, then go watch this movie. Go and watch it. Okay, it's a slow burn. It's a two hour movie. Now I'm gonna let you know. It's a slow motherfucker. It's a slow fucking movie. Cause the first hour, you wanna be real. The first hour is basically it deals with you know red and it is with mandy living a life you know what they do you know uh shows her you know she like works at this a uh, gas station and you know red he's this lumberjack and you know it starts off and it just shows like you be watching this and you're like Okay, when 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 the craziness from the pop off? When the craziness from the pop off? Now, if you do not like slow burns, then this is what I suggest you do: watch the first fifteen minutes and just skip to the last forty-five. That's all I can tell you. But if you want to experience the whole thing and all its glory, please just bear with it and push on through. You will enjoy this movie. I feel if that's if that is your speed, and for those who 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 remember falling in love with uh you know heavy metal the movie anybody who knows what heavy metal heavy metal movie was like this anthology movie full of these uh uh, uh animations and all kind of stuff futuristic shit home back in the day fucking fantasy dark fantasy you know like almost like conan barbarian shit and everything and if you fell in love with vampire hunter d i ain't talking about the new vampire hunter d and i ain't talking about the one that i guess it came out more than 10 years ago i'm talking about the vampire hunter d from the 80s that vampire hunter d movie that's the one i'm talking about if you remember that if you remember have you remember Conan the Barbarian, if you remember uh a uh, Beastmaster, if you remember uh who else? What else? Hey, I could say uh motherfucking uh Red Sonya, uh uh Legion, goddamn um all the other movies that dealt with like uh, so not I don't even want to say soldiers, warriors, and wizards, and all that stuff back in the eighties, shit, now, and all that stuff. If that took your fancy, but it's like modernized, but it still feel, but it's modernized, like almost like how they redid Stranger Things. Okay, you know we know Stranger Things is you know it was made today, but they said it in the eighties. This is kind of like what Mandy is. But the thing with Mandy is, like, my thing is this. We don't even know if it's on this earth. We don't know if the setting is on this earth. I'm going to be honest. I think it's a, the, another dimension where Mandy is set. Because you can look and see how it's filmed. It looks otherworldly. And then, like, toward the end of the movie, when Red is riding off, you know, whatever, after he done killed everybody. You see two moons or two suns and you see and you see all that even in this movie it's animation in this movie it's uh they break the movie down in chapters hell you don't even um if i remember right the opening credits when they had like you know they say what the name of the movie is that don't happen till full in the movie you know, let's see. So, oh yeah, we'll talk more about what happened. So, the cult leader Jeremiah, he motherfucking find, he locks eyes with Mandy. Mandy is walking down the um, uh, you know, path from her house and all that, and um, 
he's infatuated with her. Well, let's be real. Mandy don't even look human in my eyes. And I ain't saying that as a bad way. She looks like a fairy. And when I'm looking at her, I'm like, is that bitch a fairy? Is she a fairy queen or something? Because she has this ethereal look upon her. It's a, it's haunting. Like a motherfucker. It's almost haunting. It's still like, like you scared to stare at her for long and all this stuff. And that's how she looks. She got these big eyes, big expressive eyes that are two different colors and all that stuff. And she's nothing but this ass. And, you know, she got this long, dark hair that hits her ass. And if you look at it, you're like, y'all show that bitch human? She like, she like a fucking fairy. What you would think of, like, fairies a little like that? Okay, that's her. She a fairy. That, that's what I... Listen, I still say the bitch I am. But, you know, that's what he wants. And so his cult member uh, get this horn, this cruelly made horn out of clay, whatever, and they call forth the black schools. And it's this bikers, demons. They on bikes on motorbikes and all this shit like that and motherfucker we don't know if they're human we don't know if they're demon this motherfucker saying that they were already wasn't shit before they you know crossed paths with the alchemist the uh drug the drug maker and everything he gave he uh fixed up a motherfucking batch of fucking lsd that fucked them up and so they were always continually to be in pain but the thing about it they love it they love the pain. So, listen. If y'all have feel it, listen. If y'all have this thing about drugs and movies, don't watch this. Yeah, don't watch it. That probably be my only thing for y'all. Don't watch this. Because when I tell you, do these motherfuckers dive head first in LSD and, powder, and all that white powder? One dude, he was one, one motherfucking demon. He sat down on the sofa table right in front of him, piled up, probably right to where his head is, and he just, <clears throat> head first, and that motherfucker just suck it up, sniff all that powder. Now, them black skulls, them, they got a female. Female is the one that first that uh, Nicholas Cage first killed, and then there's three more. Now, one of them that just spooked the fuck out of me, his dick, he ain't got no dick no more. He got it, it. You can tell it's part of it still there, but he got a long ass sharp blade coming out his motherfucking crotch. I, and, and, and mind you, I didn't even notice that till I watched it earlier today. Now, man, I don't watch this movie a couple times, y'all. I swear for the Lord, I like. Why I'm just not seeing this? Why am I just not seeing this? And for those who feel some kind of way about Nicholas Cage, listen, I'm going to tell y'all, get off my brother. I want y'all to get off of Nicholas Cage. We all know he, 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 he go there. You know, Nicholas Cage got, like, I want to say two speeds, rage and no rage. And I guess lately he been full on rage. And, you know, as some people think it, but he just putting on a little too much that's not needed. It's needed for this movie. When I tell you, when he spazzes, it's, it fits the fucking, it fits the movie. All this shit, this is him. I don't know that homeboy, when him homeboy wrote this, did he have him in mind for it? Maybe he did. If so, bravo. If not, I'm glad that, you know... The motherfucking Cosmos found some kind of way to, for that script to fall in Nicolas Cage's hands. This is some of his best acting in a long fucking time. A long time. The cinematography is just ridiculous. It's beautiful. I mean, literally beautiful. The colors, uh, just the different colors. You're going to see a whole lot of pinks and purples red if you don't like a whole lot of blood i don't know what to tell you it's there it's almost it's almost like a dreamscape the whole movie really even before you know shit just fall out of pocket even the beginnings when you see number light it seems like you're looking at it through some some kind of smoky filter so and you're just looking at the 
wherever they filmed it at, I think I hold up. They wanted to film in the Pacific Northwest, but I think they went overseas and stuff. I just want to relocate my black ass to the woods. Give me that house. Make sure it's fully works, you know, electricity, plumbing, and all that stuff. And just leave me the fuck be. I would love it there. I, I can see myself spending the rest of my days there. So fucking beautiful. Yes. The, uh, I'm trying to think what else. It's just a good movie. I don't know. Like, watch Mandy, y'all. Just watch it. Watch it. Give give it a chance. Give it a fucking chance, y'all. For for those for uh horror heads, y'all, I think y'all will enjoy this. I think y'all will. For not for ones that ain't you know they get scared easy. I think you will enjoy this. I really do. And for those who who miss them movies, them old school movies, them dark fantasy movies and everything from back in the day. Well, here's here's a little tank of it. Hell, even Red, you know, he's a lumberjack and all that stuff. But we can tell by the way he handle guns and different things. He has some form of training, military training. This nigga also a blacksmith, y'all. <laughs> that ex, he motherfucking make. My birthday is in July. Will somebody please? Make me that for my birthday, please. Listen, he's also a blacksmith, y'all. Y'all can come on now. That is straight up sword and sorcery. Fucking genre for back in the day, y'all. Come on, y'all. Listen, just watch it. That's all I can tell you. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. And I will be keeping an eye out on whatever Mr. Panos motherfucking throw at us beyond the black rainbow was everything and mandy is everything too i think y'all enjoy it if y'all want to uh i think if i'm right it's on it's on amazon um it's on shutter i watched it on shutter they got it like as a shutter exclusive or whatever um yeah and, I, you know, you could probably buy it off of Google Play or iTunes or whatever and all that stuff. But give Mandy a chance. Watch it. Push through. Even if you don't like slow burns, just push through. And if you know you really ain't baby to handle slow burns, watch the first 15 minutes and go to the middle of the fucking movie and just go ahead. If it, if, 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 if it, if it, if it behooves you the motherfucker try to push through. You know what I'm saying? But give it a chance, y'all. Mandy is everything. Mandy is good. That's it, y'all. Bye.